Live from Lincoln, this is Channel 8 Eyewitness News Midday. Good midday. Thank you for joining us. The FBI has completed the search for Sidney Loof in Clay County. The autopsy report has yet to be released. ABC's Good Morning America's Amy Roboff looked into the dangers of Tinder in today's top story. The last time family and friends saw 24 year old Sydney Loof was in this Snapchat as she was preparing for a second date with the woman she met on Tinder. Just like so many others, the popular dating app leading to 1 million dates a week. Loof seen smiling in the photo on November 15th, writing, Ready for my date before vanishing. The search for Loof beginning when she missed a shift at the home improvement store where she worked, her worried family pleading for help. Someone knows something, please. Please do the right thing. Thank you. Police and the FBI beginning their search, combing through digital evidence. And Tuesday, 20 days after she vanished, digital clues leading authorities to what they believe to be Loof's body. We do believe that there is uh, evidence of foul play. Sydney Loof's family reacting to the news on Facebook saying, May God grant eternal rest unto thee. We love you, Sydney. Her friends telling us she was careful when using the dating app. She usually always sent a picture of the person that she was going on a date with. Um, she would let us know whether it was going to be at her house, their house, in public. We tell kids all the time uh, the number one rule is you don't meet somebody out in the real world that you've only met online. And yet, for some reason, we think that once we become adults, we're immune to that. Um, and we're not. Uh, you know, these cases are rare. Um, these social media and, and, and dating sites don't want this happening to their users, but we need to stay hyper vigilant when using these types of dating services. And the funeral for Sydney Loof has been scheduled for Monday morning at 1030. It will be in Neely at Grace Lutheran Church. There will also be a candlelight vigil on Saturday at 5 o'clock at the Sunken Gardens in Lincoln. 